Hello, Stabilizer News. We have news, big news. Hi, I'm Garrett Brown, the inventor of Steadicam. And since the original invention in 1974, here's the prototype. That's the arm and vest. Here's the sled. We're about to pack this up, incidentally, to head for the new Academy Museum in Hollywood, which will show off the prototype. But the thing is, ever since its invention, the center of gravity had to be below the gimbal. It had to be slightly bottom heavy to be really controllable. And we, you know, we made wonderful shots. We put up with all that and it works great. But of course it is a big pendulum if you don't have the skill to keep it level. So the big news is for the very first time, you'll be able to balance neutral, that is center of balance at the gimbal, no bottom heaviness, no pendulum, and yet false or faux or simulated bottom heaviness will serve the same purpose and it will maintain its own level. And this will jumpstart a fantastic uptick in operating skill. Chris Fawcett will lay this out for you. My colleague and friend will show you the M1 Volt, which I think is the best study cam invention since the original. Hi, I'm Chris Fawcett, and I'm here to show you the Steadicam M1 Volt. This is the Steadicam M1 Volt sitting around the gimbal of this Steadicam. Now, what we have is the normal Steadicam here that's built in the normal way with the camera up top, the monitor out front, batteries back. It's just the system that you're very familiar with with Steadicam. And when we're working as Steadicam operators, we're working with our hands around the gimbal trying to control the Steadicam in all different axes. Of course, we're panning, we're tilting, but the one axis that we really don't want to be going off is the level. So, of all of the axes, this is the least interesting one for us to put our attention into, and it demands a huge amount of our attention. What the Steadicam M1 Volt does is it helps us maintain a level horizon. So if I switch it on now, the Steadicam suddenly has a virtual bottom heaviness. So when it comes back to rest, it doesn't pendulate. It also has a virtual bottom heaviness in tilt. So when it comes back to vertical, it doesn't pendulate again. Now just to show you the difference between that and a normal Steadicam. A normal Steadicam will just pendulate back and forth like that until you put a lot of effort into stabilizing it. Once the volt is on, the volt takes care of all that for you. So what that does is it leaves you free to operate the Steadicam in the way that you normally want to, concentrating on your composition, concentrating on the narrative, concentrating on the navigation, your, your, your next footsteps. And all the time you're not having to panic about whether the picture is level or not. Now there are many complicated things we do in Steadicam, like we may move forwards in this direction. We may suddenly have to change direction. And when we want to speed up, we have to switch. And then we may have to run in the opposite direction and switch again. And it's during moments like this when you're most likely to lose your horizon. And in the middle of a perfect shot, it's a real pain to lose your horizon. So what we have is all of the responsiveness of a Steadicam, but with horizon control. The technology for the Steadicam M1 Volt actually comes from the same technology as is used in this little thing. You can see in the mirror here. This is the, uh, the mini version of it, the Steadicam Volt. And it's blown up to larger, stronger motors, which attach exactly around the gimbal. Now the great thing about putting stabilization at this point is that you're not adding mass above the gimbal, you're not adding mass below the gimbal, so you can build the rig exactly the way you want it, just in the simplest way. Then you add this, which is about one kilo of extra weight, and it takes care of all the stabilization. Because if you add weight up here, you either have to extend this post or add more weight down there. So, I, as a Steadicam operator, I'm extremely happy with it and I'll see you later.